All right, so it's a little after three o'clock in the morning. Oh, and about to leave to go hunting. I gotta drive all the way to El Idaho today. And I'm gonna go on my first hunting trip. Well, I've been hunting. So here's the deal. You know, I never had anybody growing up to show me how to hunt. So uh, when I got in the military, I met all these guys that go hunting. You know, it got me a little bit interested. Um, so I've been deer hunting a couple times, but I don't know what I'm doing. So. Um, been trying to go on this trip with my buddy for years now and uh, it's finally happening so uh, got a pretty good chance of, of bringing home a deer and I really hope I do so <clears throat> yeah I'll check in with you guys later I got a 10 hour drive ahead of me and it's 3 o'clock in the morning so Catch you guys later. All right, so I've been driving for a few hours now, almost four, I think, and uh, it's just now, actually no, like four and a half hours. Anyway, it's just now starting to get light outside. I stopped in uh, Arlington, Oregon, and uh, man, I just need to stretch my legs, but I got gas while I was there. Uh, anyways. We got about six hours left on our drive, so we're gonna keep on chucking. Starting to be a little snowier out. So at this point, uh, I had gotten to the cabin, and this is the following morning, uh, my first time out hunting the area. Uh, I just picked a spot on this uh, clear cut and sat there for the first half of the day. This was pretty much right after uh, shooting light, and then here's like a little while later when it actually started snowing. Uh, I think this is after lunch. I came down for lunch and then we're heading back up after lunch <clears throat> to sit on uh, another clear cut. So this is the next morning, um, sitting in a different area, uh, a lot of fresh snow from the previous night. I didn't see any deer the first day. So here I am sitting in this different clear cut and more of the same, didn't see anything that entire day. This is me in the afternoon sitting kind of up above where I had been sitting in the morning. And it was the same story. Didn't see any deer that day. So 
So this is the afternoon of the third day. Uh, I'm riding up uh, into this area. Uh, one of the guys at the cabin set up a blind for me up here and I decided that I'm just gonna sit in this one spot and wait for the deer to come to me. I figured if I sat in the one area long enough that I would see some deer. So here I am going up to that area right now. All right, so this is where I set up basically for the next three days. I sat out here the rest of this afternoon, didn't see anything. Uh, the next day I came out early in the morning and I parked further, way further away from the blind uh, and walked in and I sat there the whole day and I saw one doe about two o'clock in the afternoon. So then it was the fifth day that I came back out to the blind and it had been icy and I couldn't even get into the thing so I just sat on a stump near it and I saw a doe come across after the first light and then I saw my buck at about 7.15 in the morning Super big one, but <clears throat> a little three by three. Here he is. He didn't suffer, he didn't go too far. Looks like a good shot. I got him loaded up. Let's get him back.
All right, so that was it for my hunting trip. Um, that was my first deer I ever killed, first deer I ever gutted myself and skinned and all that. And it was a great experience. Uh, here's the rack in case you wanted to see that. But yeah, I was more in it for, uh, for the meat and for the experience. You know, I want to know how to process an animal if I ever need to do that in the future. And um, I think this helped turn me on to hunting, so I think I'm gonna be doing some more in the future. Uh, thanks for watching. I know this video probably isn't for everybody, um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.